to cybersecurity. How has the cybersecurity industry failed? I think we've already established that there is no such thing as cybersecurity, information security, the infosec, you know, uh, data privacy era is long gone. It's not even a conversation anymore. So how do we get this industry back on track? Yeah, I, I appreciate you bringing that back up as a, as a because that is for me the topic. This this idea that there is such, such thing as security, you know, privacy and security that you can secure data. You can't. Is cybersecurity for me is an oxymoron. No such thing. It's like Microsoft works. You know, it's like you know fighting for peace. It's an oxymoron. It's self contradicting. There's no such thing as a secure, secure computer. Never was, never will be. Now, if you know that, both, you know, if you're a business trying to protect your customer data, or you're just an end user trying to you know, look after the data that you have on your, your phone or your laptop or your tablet, uh, whatever, there is no such thing as a secure tablet or laptop or phone. There isn't. And cybersecurity, then, when I say it's an oxymoron, I, I, I say it's cybersecurity, the real definition is risk management. You identify the risks of losing your privacy in this instance. You minimize that to the greatest ex extent possible. Clean out your browser. Use a use a you know a non-tracking search engine. Uh, use a VPN. You minimize it to something that's uh, you know acceptable and will keep you out of traffic. You know, keep you out of harm's way. The if by doing a minimum amount of things, and then you manage that from day to day to day. You know, we, oh, I don't know, read the privacy notice before you sign up for any, you know, freaking app that comes along and understand what the app takes from you. And, and then start to, you, you start to develop an appetite for how much security is appropriate to your level of privacy. And I'm not advocating that you go out there and, you know, nail everything down. You don't. You don't have time for that in your personal life. And you want to get the benefits of social media platforms and all the other things that are out there. Absolutely. But you want to stay out of harm's way. And harm's way, you don't know what that is until you define it for yourself personally. And I'm, honestly, it's, it's things like asking yourself, what if somebody had access to my medical records? And put that in a worst case scenario. Uh, what if, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, and today that could have such an impact that it's frightening to me that people don't do a short risk assessment to understand what is my level of privacy. Anyway, cybersecurity is finding that level of, of privacy. It's called risk management to, to minimize the risk that your uh, breach is. And we have just failed miserably in it. Yes, our industry, the cybersecurity industry, uh, you know, protecting data from breaches, protecting data from unauthorized access, protecting data from hackers. We, suck at it we've we just terrible we've had 30 years of experience and and you look at the breaches uh, yahoo lo loses three billion accounts first of all i didn't know yahoo had three billion users but to lose every single one of them you know that you got to go out of your way not to just be be neglecting the security of that data the size of the breaches do you know that in the last in the last um uh, year and a half that we have globally lost over 17 billion personal records. Okay, well, so I'm just telling you that this is from countries and businesses who have mandatory disclosure laws, who when they have a breach to their system and they lose personal data, they have to hold out their hands and report it. But they have to make a public statement. And do you know that in the last year and a half, we've lost over 17 billion records. Now, how many people are on the planet? Eight. Uh, yeah, eight billion max so we've yeah, lost, we have lost over twice the amount of records than there are people walking along walking around on the face of this planet so oh, you know how stream news i it, it's out there google it it's out there it's you know look at the you know i told you uh, uh, yahoo alone was responsible for three billion of that Three billion out of seventeen million, you know, and look at the size, you know, the amount and the impact on the breaches. So, frankly, you know, when I talk about cynicism, you could pretty much make a case for everybody's personal data has already been lost. What is the impact? How is that going to hurt us in the future? Because when you lose twice the amount of records, then there are people walking around on the face of the globe. Maybe just maybe you're not doing a good job. And so I'm extremely disappointed in the cybersecurity industry. We have been ineffective in identifying and preventing breaches of personal data. 